In today's video, we're going to create a unique and delicious little starter for a great meal. That is a personal onion soup. How about that? Yes, sir. We're going to make it with a single onion. Hey, welcome to Gourmet Fishing. I'm your host, David Murray. We've got everything we need. So why don't we go ahead and get started on our personal onion soup right now. We've got all our ingredients right here in front of us. Speaking of ingredients, well, we're going to start out right here with an onion. I'm using, you know, that's a pretty nice size onion here. I'm using a sweet onion, like a Vidalia, uh, something along those lines, but you can use whatever onion uh, that, that you like. We've got some butter, we've got some beef bouillon, and we've got some red wine. That's a Pinot Noir. We've got a little bit of water and a little bit of fresh time that's it how about that quick and simple well not quick i take that oh, quick quick <laughs> quick to assemble it's going to take about an hour and a half to cook our little personal onion down so go ahead get your oven preheated to about 405 406 degrees let that come up to temperature and while that's happening let's go ahead i tell you what and get this thing rolling so the first thing we need to do is to prep our onion. Now we've got, you know, the, the root side and the, uh, what do they call that? The bulb side? I don't know, top. Okay, top, bottom. That's what we're gonna go with. So, what I'm gonna do is with a sharp knife, let's see if we can move this out the way so you can see a little bit. Let's go ahead and do that. There you go. All right, move you out the way. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna come in here and we're gonna cut just a little bit of the root off and try to make it as flat as possible because we want that little guy to stand up uh, in our little uh, bowl as well as it can. So, step one done. Step two, now we're gonna come in here and we're just gonna lop off the top, just like so. And what we wanna also do is take that first uh, little wrap, that first skin off. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna take cut that just like so just like that and that's going to allow us to remove that first little layer of the onion just like that okay and i dropped okay whoop, there he is done so you know what i'm going to come in and i'm going to try to cut this a little better there we are that's good enough <laughs> ain't got to does not have to be Perfect. Okay, step one. Step two, we can take a spoon, a little, a little teaspoon. We're going to come in and we're going to make like a little divot. So we're going to come in about halfway on that teaspoon, just like that. And we're going to come in and we're just going to rotate that spoon around the center of our onion. Just like so. And we're going to pop the center out. Got a nice little cavity in there for us. Now, we're not gonna throw those away quite yet. Heck no, we're gonna, that's some good stuff right there. That's gonna go into our onion soup. I think we're done with our spoon. Come in here and I'm just gonna kind of give this a little bit of a chop, just like so. Kind of break it up just a tad, just like that. Now, it's about time for us to drop our onion. I'm gonna come in with a nice little piece of, of fresh thyme here. Get one more. We're going to use the rest here in a sec, just like so. Sprinkle that little bit of broken, uh, I mean not broken, that little bit of onion that we had from our center. And then we're going to come in and we're going to drop our onion in there, just like that. Quick, so far, simple so far, not too tough. Now, I use, I use Knorr's um, beef bouillon. I use actually for quite, quite a bit of ki uh, cooking. Also use their chicken. Um, we are. I'm going to come in here, we're going to use uh, probably about two-thirds of a full tablespoon. Um, I don't even know how to, I don't even know if there is a measuring um, teaspoon for that. So I'm going to come in here with just, uh, that's just under, I guess you could say a half. I'm going to sprinkle that in here just like that. Before I go any further, and I probably should have done this before 
putting in my bouillon, I'm going to come in and we're going to cut our onion into eight, for the most part, equal um, segments. Now, don't cut all the way through the onion, but just kind of come in here with your knife, just like so. And just kind of sort of make a, a cut, just like so. As you can see, I'm coming in to about right here. So it's not all the way into the center, into that root area. We want to try to keep this whole thing together. So we're going to come in here just like that. Just like that. Okay. Now we're going to do it one more time all the way around. And one more time. Just like so. There it is. Now we have our little onion all kind of divided up. Ready to begin cooking itself down and making an unbelievable little broth with, with, the, with the flavors of the onion, the liquid of the onion. When you come in here, we're going to add tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of butter. Now I'm going to come back and get our other uh, third of a, of, of a tablespoon or so. I don't know, something like that. And here, we're just going to finish sprinkling that on there. Voila. So, here we go. Put this down here. I'm going to come in. We're going to take the rest of our little bit of time, just like this. Kind of, just kind of sort of drape it around the edge of our onion, just like so. And ah, that's fine right there. Okay. Look at that. Check that thing out. We are almost ready to go. Now, I'm going to come in here with a tablespoon of water. A little agua. Hey, how about that? A little bit of... French ling I mean, uh, Spanish lingo going on. French, what the heck? <laughs> so, now I'm going to come in. Now they just started using screw tops. A little bit of Pinot Noir, a little red wine, whatever red wine you want. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to add three tablespoons, just like that. Shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> Here we go. So, that's it. How about that? That right there is going to be our personal onion soup. Now we're going to come in here. I'm going to grab this stuff over here. I, it's, it's some, I, I don't know if it's some kind of a new, uh, new metal or new foil, but over in, in the UK, they call this stuff aluminium. I don't, I don't know what that is. I, I can't quite figure out what it is. Maybe it's some kind of space age, European Union type of uh, metal. <laughs> I'm just joking. We got some aluminum foil right here. We're going to come in, we're going to pull the edges together, just like so. And I tried to, um, you know what, let's see here, almost got it. Try to get it right in the middle and kind of use a, a square if you can, get that thing together so, so it all kind of folds up, just like that. We've got our onion in its own little cooking vessel. And that's uh, it's one of, uh, obviously it's an oven safe um, uh, vessel. I think that was an anchor hawking, um, but you know, Pyrex, you know, whatever, as long as it's oven safe. So I'm going to come in just like so. Check that out. We've got our little onion in there, and it's almost like a, an oven in an oven right here. So it's perfect. We're going to come in just like so. Voila. Boom. How quick was that? Fairly simple. Now, We've got an hour and a half for this little guy to cook down and make just unbelievable, flavorful deliciousness of liquid and soft onion. So, I tell you what, we're going to take a quick break. And when we come back, hour and a half will have elapsed and we will have our personal onion soup. Well, it's been about an hour and a half, and I tell you what, the smells in the kitchen, wow, they're unbelievable. So I think it's time for us to take our little personal onion soup out of the oven and take a look and see what we created. So, again, hot, about 405 degrees, so you gotta be careful with that. We're gonna come in, whoop, almost burnt myself. Check that out, we got our little bundle of goodness right there, heck yeah. And the neat thing about having this little uh, package of aluminum <laughs> foil is if it does bubble over, we kind of sort of catch it in there. So 
We can open this up. Steam's going to come out. Steam is 212 degrees, I believe, if I remember science right, in engineering. So, come in here and be very careful. And we'll slowly, oh yeah, oh, oh my, look what I see. Yes. Oh, that smells good. Wow. I think we did it, y'all. Let's see. And it's still bubbling away. So, let's open this thing up. Oh, yes. Check that out. Man, you can still see it bubbling away. Heck yeah. So, what we're going to do here is I'm going to come in with my spoon and I'm going to kind of disperse some of those flavors all over and get that, get that broth and that juice and that soup kind of sort of mixed up a little bit. Just like so. Man, how about that? Wow, that thing looks good and you ought to smell it. Unbelievable. That's the, that's one injustice that we have with videos. You can't, you can't smell what we have going on here. So let's see here. I'm going to try not to burn myself and I think it will come out, won't it? Yeah, this will stick just a little bit. Yeah, it is. So yeah, some of the liquid did boil over. So we're going to come in here just like that. Heck yeah. Yes, sir. Man, that looks good. So, there we go. Check that thing out right there. Oh, man. Man, that smells good. Heck yeah. I tell you what, I'm going to come in here and just give it just a little bit of a taste. Get that. Come on, Mr. Time. I don't want to. Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have a time leaf or two. <laughs> oh, wow. Man. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Man, I tell you what, that right there is delicious. Man, check it out. Yes, sir. -y. But you can take this one step further if you'd like. And by the magic of preparation, we have ourselves another personal onion soup. Turn our oven on broil. And what are we going to do? Regular French onion soup has what? A little bit of bread on top, doesn't it? Yes, sir. -y. So I got myself a um, little bit of French bread back there. Cut me some off. I'm going to come in. I'm going to add that piece. And you know what? Cut a little bit of this off. That will not go to waste. Drop this guy in here just like that. Kind of push that down just a tad. How about that? Heck yeah. And I'm going to come in here. I'm using provolone. You could use uh, Monterey Jack or whatever cheese you want. And we're going to sort of drop that right on top, just like that. Then we're going to come in here. We're going to put him under the broiler just to get that cheese nice and melted. And that provolone is going to get us that little stringy pullness that, that, we, that we love to have with our onion soup. So I tell you what, we're going to drop this back in the oven. Just melt that cheese and we'll be right back. Oh man, I tell you what, that looks good. Yes sir, might be just a little over broiled, but heck man, that thing is gonna be delicious. Sorry for the noise. Man, check that out. I tell you what, let's come in here. Grab this guy here, and again, remember this thing is freaking hot, so be careful. I'm gonna come in just like so. Oh man, heck yeah! Voila, man, how about that? Right there. Let's move this out the way. We've got this little guy right here. A little bit of red wine right there. How about that? How, you know, how, I mean, how quick was that to prepare it? I mean, no time at all. Maybe five minutes. Maybe ten. Okay, eh, eight. How's that? <laughs> eight minutes but I tell you what you know the biggest thing is having to cook it for an hour and a half so you can kind of get yourself planned ahead of time if you're having like a little uh, you know some people over for dinner but what, what a great way to get things started up hey you want to try our French onion soup hey check that out and then right here hey don't forget to click that subscribe button man I hope y'all give this a shot let me know how it turns out and I tell you what until next time God bless and we'll see you soon